What's up everybody and welcome to Living with Lisa. Today I'm going to talk about something that I have never talked about before and that is my experience with dyeing and bleaching my hair. Also I want to give you guys a little bit of insight of the pros and the cons and if you are thinking about dyeing or bleaching your hair, what are some things that you can do to battle like dry hair and to treat that bleaching damaged hair. So stay tuned. So I do want to start off by saying that I loved, loved, loved my color treated hair. I felt like my styles were super popping and my curls would stand out in style. So with that being said, I do not want to let you guys think that I hate everything about color treated hair because I don't. I really like how it looked, but it just wasn't the healthiest for my hair. And me wanting to go on a healthy hair journey, I felt like that was not a good decision at the time. One of the biggest things is what kind of color are you trying to achieve? Because if you are, if you're going from dark hair and trying to get really light hair that is going to be a little more drastic and a little bit more unhealthy for the hair because you're really going to have to strip that cuticle of all of that color and I know some people like to do it gradually but I believe that also can be a little bit unhealthy like all that processing to your hair so moral of the story if you are trying to go to a blonde or blue or purple or even red you're going to have to really strip that cuticle of all of that color and that is going to be a lot more damaging for the hair and you're going to have to use some kind of lifter or bleach which are known to make the hair break off and it's known to make the hair be more dry So one thing that I have learned over time is that there are levels to this stuff of color treated hair. There are like types of processes that are more healthier than others. The first one that I would say is probably the most healthy and the best for their hair is henna. Henna is known to be a natural liner and it does not damage or compromise the strand because it is a natural substance. Number two is semi-permanent dye, which just kind of sits on top of your strand and really doesn't like lift the cuticle and the protein bonds in your hair strands. The third one that I want to talk about today is demi-permanent hair dye, which is less damaging than regular or if you had to like lift your hair using bleach or a lifter. Um, those last a couple of months and you do have to retouch up, but it's a lot better for the hair. And the fourth one I'm going to talk about is just the regular type of dye that contains ammonia and I'm going to put bleach in that category and bleach is like the street term for like a lifter so they say yeah that is the most unhealthy dye that you can put on your hair when you bleach your hair you are literally taking all of that color out of the strand that's what you're doing you're lifting that color out of the strand and it sometimes it really sucks it dry Another thing that I want people to think about when dealing with color treated hair is porosity. Hair porosity. Hair porosity. Hair porosity. Hair porosity. When we dye our hair, porosity also becomes higher. So if you already have high porosity hair and you are dyeing your hair and your hair is already high porosity, it's going to be super high porosity, right? Let's say you have low porosity hair and your friend has high porosity hair. You guys can get the same color treatment, same brand, same everything, and that dye is going to affect you guys' hair totally different, okay? Like, let your friend's hair might break off and your hair might be fine. So that's why I'm saying dye does not affect everybody's hair in the same way. I feel like because my hair was already high porosity when I dyed it, it was super high porosity and I feel like that's why my hair got dry so fast and that's why it wanted to break off. In my experience, I dyed my hair twice. The first time I did not have to use a bleach or lifter because I was going to like a medium auburn and it was super noticeable in the sun. It wasn't super bright and it was on my tips and in highlights. 
The second time I dyed my hair, I did have to use a bleach or a lifter because I was going for a light blonde slash orange look, which was super vibrant and super bright and was kind of like too much for me in the beginning because, you know, dyes kind of fade over time. But yeah, in the beginning, I was just like, this is too much. And that is when I started to notice that my, um, my strength and integrity was compromised. And my hair was starting to be a lot more dry. My ends were breaking off. And the biggest thing was I started to experience mid-shaft splits. I don't know if you guys are familiar with mid-shaft splits, but it's basically a split end in the middle of your hair. And even if you cut it, it will make it worse. You literally have to cut above the mid-shaft split. Or it will just split right into two if you cut it in the spot where the mid-shaft split is. So it's just a really tough situation. Now here are some of the ways that I noticed that my hair was damaged. Was when I would do twist styles or try to do like a twist style like where the root is and where my virgin hair is it was super thick and super juicy and towards the end it was kind of thin wispy and almost did not want to curl I do have a little bit of dye left and I'm going to show you guys a picture of that so I've been kind of like gradually cutting off the damaged ends just trying to get rid of them over time but I think this summer I'm going to take a leap of faith and just go ahead and cut the rest of this dye off. I feel like I'm playing y'all. Like, I feel like my hair can have so much more potential than it has. Like it can have a lot of volume. It could, it could be a lot longer if I wasn't still trying to hold on to this damage. My goal for hair health is probably to have the same thickness from root to end. Which means like your hair is super healthy. And my hair is not like that yet. But I'm on my way there and I'm Another thing I want to talk about is helping people who are thinking about dyeing their hair. Um, what are some ways you can combat that dryness and that kind of helped even though it didn't fix the problem? So you want to trim your hair on a regular basis because if you do not pay attention to those split ends, it can just go higher and higher. It's probably going to split. So you kind of want to just get nip that in the bud while you see it. Another thing you want to do if you have color treated hair or you're having issues with dry hair is moisturize it often. Like water is our hair's best friend guys. Like literally we need to be moisturizing our hair more frequently than when it was our virgin hair and it wasn't color treated. And I kind of wish that there was some type of, you know, secret solution to the problem, but I've kind of figured out over time that the best way to just combat like the bleach damage is to get rid of it over time gradually. Some people just like to do the chop, but I'm not with it. I got a big head, and as soon as I've been letting go of these little dry, brittle, damaged ends that I have, my hair has been flourishing. I have been able to do twist outs, and I have been able to do a lot more things with my hair. Um, and even though it's not all the way gone, I see a huge, major improvement. The first question that I want to pose to people that are thinking about dyeing their hair is, is your hair healthy right now? And if it's not healthy right now and you decide to get your hair colored or bleached or whatever, just think it's only going to get worse once you do that. I feel like whatever you do as far as the color is just going to escalate the situation and that's not going to solve the problem. Another question I would like to pose is, has your hair been color treated before? And are you color treating on top of that previously color treated hair? Because that can cause a huge problem. That's what I did the second time around. All of my dye was not completely gone, so I felt like when I dyed it again, it just made things worse. And that's and that is probably why my hair could have been
breaking off. So kind of like where I'm at in my natural hair journey is I want my hair to be the healthiest it can be. And if I was just trying to have fun or whatever, I wouldn't mind like playing with dyes and you know, cutting my hair. But I want my hair to have that volume. I want to have length. I want to see my hair be like it has never been before. I want to challenge myself and kind of my hair and see like what is the best it can be. I don't know. I, I've always dealt with some kind of issue, whether it's heat damage, bleach damage, or whatever. But I just kind of feel like at this point in my life, I want to see my hair flourish and I want to see it be the best it can be. So if you have any questions dealing with my experience dealing with bleach, link them below. I would love to answer it for you guys. And I also want to hear your stories. Like, what are some things that you dealt with when dealing with color treated hair and didn't break your hair off? Like, And I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Stay tuned next time on Living with Lisa for some more awesome content.